All right, how many minutes are there in exactly another uh, unlimited precision problem? One week, okay? So for the sake of uh, uh, building good habits, doing dimensional analysis, uh, let's show our work. I know you can do this in your calculator. You can just ask Google, of course, all right? But one, one week is our only value given. So we're gonna start with that, all right? So we're gonna turn weeks, or one week actually, into minutes. All right, now how many people know that? Um, Probably not many. So we're, we're going to need to break this down into intermediate steps. All right, we can go weeks to days, days to hours, and then hours to minutes. So let's set this up and see what it looks like. All right, again, always start with the value given that you're, you're trying to uh, convert. So one week, always add units. And we want to get rid of weeks. So put that on the other side of the uh, conversion factor. That's what this is known as, the conversion factor. These are all conversion factors. Factors. We're going to see uh, a couple of them. <clears throat> all right, so weeks, we're going to take that to days. All right, just follow this, follow this plan. All right, and there are seven days in one week. Make sure these are always, always equal. Always, otherwise you're changing the, uh, the measurement or the value given, and we don't want to do that. All right, again, Build another good habit. Cross out the units that cancel out because it certainly will get more complicated and you want to keep track of the units that are left over. All right, I want to get rid of days now. All right, we got, we got rid of weeks. I want to get rid of days. Let's take that to hours. All right, so days to hours, right? So that's going to be, uh, I had to think about that. 24 hours in one day, right? And cross out the units that cancel out again. All right, now we're at hours. All right, let's get rid of hours and take that to our final dimension, all right, dimensional analysis, all right, let's get rid of hours, put that on the other side of the conversion factor, all right, if you want to get rid of it, and our desired unit goes on the other side of that, all right, so we got 60 minutes in one hour, let's cross that final, we're left with units of minutes, that's how dimensional analysis works, all right, now let your calculator do all the work, all right, all the numbers, uh, are in the numerator, so let's go seven times 24 times 60. Hmm. Okay, all right, so there it is, uh, minutes. Yeah, yeah, minutes. All right, and if you want to express, I'm going to do that again, seven times 24 times 60. It is. All right, if you want to, you know, say that's, you can say exactly. And that's what they're given you all right none of these have these have all all these conversion factors have unlimited significant figures all right so and it's saying exactly one week so you can tell them right back exactly 10,080 minutes so there's our final answer